Let's hit the drop. It's girl talk. Why do you have to lie about that? Is this true? With uh, you and my sister, none other than T.T. Torres right here. Girls are talking. The girls are talking. As promised, the fiance of Michael Vick is on the phone lines. Kiafa. Hey, Mama. Hi, T.T. How are you? Thank you so much for having me on the show. I really appreciate you. You think about me and want me to be a part of your show. I went to your website, and I was like, OMG, I'm totally in love with her accessory line. Oh, and okay. so I was like, I got to have you on the show. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. So where did you get your name from, Kiafa? My mother named me after um, a dessert line, and it's called Cherry Kiafa. Oh, and then that's where you got your Twitter name from, huh? Yeah. Yes. So now, my, my real name is Kiafa. There's no cherry in it. Right, right. But your Twitter is Cherry Kiafa. Miss Cherry Kiafa. Ms. Cherry Kiafa. Yeah, because I follow you on um on Twitter. Oh, you do. I gotta come back and say hi to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you're originally from Philadelphia, correct? I was born and raised in North Philadelphia. You know I have family all through Philly, and I used to do radio on Power back in the day. So, really? yeah, yeah. Like, when I saw you on the BET special that Michael Vick had, um, uh-huh. everybody was trying to figure out where were you from. And I was like, oh, that girl's from Philly. It was like, how can you tell? I'm like, oh, I know that Philly, um... That Philly accent all day. <laughs> How did you start your accessory line? Um, well, I actually have a partner named Blair, and she had the website, and I really liked her products, and I wanted to become a part of it. So I hooked up with Blair, and we worked all the details out, and voila, I was a partner. Was this something that you grew up loving? Were you like the, the girl who dressed up in the mirror with your mom's jewelry and stuff like that? Girl, I always knew I wanted to definitely have my own business. And I really, really love accessories. Um, I find that, you know, you can change up your outfit. You can make it so much so much more interesting when you switch your accessories up. So I was like, you know, let me give this a shot and see what happens. And, yeah, I always used to play in accessories with my mom. Anybody that I could, anybody jewelry I could hold, I always wanted to play in it. So, yeah. you know, it was something fun for me as well. Yeah. How much of, of the accessory line is your original ideas? Well, there are a few pieces that we actually custom designed. Um, and the rest we just work with manufacturers on. Do you see yourself expanding your boutique outside of Philadelphia? Definitely, definitely. How profitable is it for you uh, in this economy right now as a black business owner? Are you guys staying above the water? We're yeah, actually doing really good. Um, surprisingly good for, for business just to be starting out. Our accountant is very proud of us. Good, good. How do you handle um, being a mother and also a businesswoman? Because you do have two kids, right? Um, London. Yes, I do. Yeah, London and Jada. And it is, it's one of the, the hardest things about having a business is being, you know, clear away from your family. You know, sometimes you have to make decisions and, you know, one outweighs the other at times. So you just, I just try to do what's right um, for that decision at that time. You know, sometimes I have to not do things for the business and be a mom or sometimes I can't, you know, go to my, my daughter's school because I have to do something with business. So, I, you know, I have to balance it out really good. It's hard, though. Yeah, yeah. All right, look, I got to go into commercial break, but I want to talk to you for two more breaks when we come back, okay? Everybody, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Kiafa. It's girl talk. Why do you have to lie about that? Is this true? With uh, you and my sister, none other than T.T. Torres, right here. I Power 92. Watch the launch. Everybody, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Kiafa. She is the fiance of Michael Vick. Do you do you like when people address you like that? Does that bother you or, or are you okay? No, it doesn't bother me. It's, yeah. I mean, it's true. It's not a lie, so I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. How do you be your own person outside of, you know, Michael Vick's shadow? I mean, obviously, you got your own business. No disrespect, but he's sexy as hell, so you got a lot of chicks that want him. He's one of the biggest known athletes in the NFL. He just signed a $100 million deal. You, as the fiance how do you deal with it all um well you know i i used to i used to find myself in his shadow a lot and it was like when he went away when he went to prison you know i had to begin to like find myself and stop living behind him and in his light and you know just go out and do my own thing because i wanted my daughters to know that you don't necessarily have to depend on a man to take care of you you know you can be your own woman and do your own thing 
that's why I finished school. I went to Hampton University, and I made sure I finished because I knew it was things that I wanted to do in life besides yeah. outside of Mike's life. What was that aha moment like for you when a light bulb finally clicked on? Well, when I was pregnant with my first daughter, that, that light bulb came on like, okay, you have to do something with your life. You have to, you know, you just never know where life is going to take you. You never know, um, you just never know about life. And I wanted to make sure that I was taken care of as well as my child. And I began to prepare for that. Um, I just began saving money, putting money in different investments. And it, it paid off for me. So perhaps there's a young girl listening to the radio right now, a woman who may be in your shoes. What would you tell them about pursuing their dreams and living their lives outside of the men who are are in their lives currently? I would definitely say save your money. Definitely put, um, get with a financial advisor and begin saving it. Even if it's only like, you know, maybe three or four hundred dollars a month, save it. Make it grow. Put your money to work for you. It will really pay off. It really will. All right, so look, we got to take one more break. Everybody, for just tuning in, we're talking to Kiafa. She is the fiance of Michael Vick, and you can go to her website, um, pinkelephant.com, minus the I in pink, okay? It's iPod 1921, Interactive Hip Hop and R&B. We'll be back with more of Kiafa. It's girl talk. Why do you have to lie about that? Is this true? With I- you and my sister, none other than T.T. Torres, right here. I-Power 921, the lie. Girls are talking. If you're just tuning in, we're talking to Michael Vick's fiance. Her name is Kiafa, and of course, she has a new accessory line, and you guys can check that out at pinkaccessories.com. So here comes the Michael Vick questions, Kiafa. How long have you and Michael Vick been together? I have known Mike for January will be 10 years. Wow. Did you guys go to school together? No, I met him while I was still in college. I met him in his hometown. I went to college in his hometown. Mm -hmm. So that's where I met him at. Have you guys set a wedding date yet? We are in the works for that now. Yeah. Is it going to be a big, lavish wedding? Can you give us some deets? I don't know any details. I can't even give you none. I don't know none yet. I'm I'm, I'm planning it. Do you want a big... I've been dragging my feet. But I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to plan it now. Do you want a big wedding or do you want something small and simple? Um, I'm thinking, I, I, don't, I think I want it quite small. No Kim K wedding. No Kim K wedding? No. <laughs> so how do you get along with the other football wives? Oh my God, the Philadelphia Eagles, they have the best wives, girlfriends out of any team that I know. We are so close. We do things together. We travel together. We go out to eat. We watch the games together. We go to each other's houses. We're like a big family, and I really like it, you know, to be around other other women who are in the same position, and it's no jealousy, hate, and we just all have a good time when we get around each other. There's no drama. Yeah. Not, nothing like you see on the show. <laughs> a fight, and we don't do that. So, so let me ask you this. Would you guys ever start a Football wife show? I, I know um, Shawnee tried to start one, but it didn't come off too well. I'm a, I'm a little torn. It's okay. You know, you kind of want to show people what you have going on in your life, but I know sometimes when it makes it to the editing floor, they want to they put it how they want to put it. Mm-hmm. So I, don't, I don't know if I want to let my life be in somebody else's hands or how they portray me. I know Mike allowed the cameras to come into your lives with the documentary he did for BET, but I would imagine that you guys are kind of close-knit after everything that unfolded with Michael Vick and so many people that you guys were close to kind of snitched and, and did all types of things to hurt the family. Are you guys tight as what I imagine in my head or are you guys pretty open to meeting new people and things of that nature? Well, I always like to meet new people but as far as, you know, like close, yeah, that's a big difference. Um, we don't let, no, we do have a, a small circle of people that we trust and communicate things with them. You know, people talk and they like to tell you business, so mm-hmm. we try to keep our <laughs> we try to keep our circle very tight. And now that Mike has signed that hundred million dollar contract and you guys are on the up and up, I can imagine that the leashes are coming out the woodworks again. Oh, definitely. People come out the woodwork. Mm-hmm. Yes, they do. Mm-hmm. How is Michael Vick healing? Uh, we saw him take that hit in the last game. Oh, yes. He is doing fine, actually. He is doing really, really good. Um, he was just more banged up than anything, but he's fine. When he He's takes really good. when he takes those hits on the field, what do you say inside? Do you be like, oh my god, oh baby, get up! Like most of the time, I don't know. He he 
he always comes across to me as like Superman. So he's like, babe, you know, I'm all right. Nothing's going to happen to me. So, you know, it's kind of stuck in my head. I'm like, oh, when he gets hit, I'm like, oh, he's going to get right back up. He's going to be okay. So, you know, when he stays down a little longer, I, I get concerned. I get upset. Yeah, I guess it's part of the game. I know, especially that helmet to helmet hit he took. That was like, ooh. Yes, and I tell him he, he needs to start wearing his mouthpiece because mm -hmm. that will help absorb the shock from the hits. So he don't bite down with the blood and stuff. Yeah, because he bit his lip. Yeah. I know, I big, saw that. He has a big hole in his lip now. Ooh, do you still kiss that holy lip? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no kissing to that hills up. <laughs> that must have been a proud moment for you seeing him sign to the Philadelphia Eagles because that is your hometown. So how was it going back home? Oh, it was, it was such an easy transition for me, for my kids. My mom's here. It, it was pretty easy. We were always here anyway visiting. It, it was a perfect fit. Look, Kiapa, I want to take this time to thank you for coming on the show. Everybody, if you just tuned in, we're talking to Kiapa. She is the fiance of Michael Vick, and of course, she has her new accessory line. Tell everybody how to spell a website, um, Kiapa. Yes, p n k elephant.com. How did you come up with the name, or was that already your uh, partner's name? Well, yeah, my partner, she had came up with the name. Her grandmother loved elephants, and she always said you couldn't miss a pink elephant. And it's a conversation piece. You know, when people hear about the name, they always want to ask questions about it. Yeah. I like it. It's interesting. Yeah. And you're actually giving some of my listeners a chance to win some accessories off the website. So, everybody, if you type in TT Torres in the email and send it to pinkelephant.com, uh, my girl Kiafa will hook you up with those uh, accessories. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We do. We want to give a, a giveaway to one of your listeners on the radio. Okay. They can go online and pick out two pieces and we will send it. Okay, guys, so get to clicking pinkelephant.com minus the I in pink, okay? So pinkelephant.com. Make sure you go to the website and pick out your pieces, okay? Kiafa, once again, thank you so much, Mama, for coming on the show today. I really do appreciate it. All right, bye-bye. Have a good day. You too. Yeah, give her a round of applause. I'm glad to see she is doing something for herself outside of Mike Vick's shadow. They seem to be in a happy space. And it's good for them. Well deserved after all the turmoil that they have been through. So well deserved and big ups to her. And make sure you guys go to her website and win that free um, accessory stuff that she got for you guys. Okay, pink. Um, elephant.com. Look, coming up is the big homie King Tut. He's going to rock out until 6 p.m. But before I roll up out of here, I'm going to be hooking somebody up with a pair of tickets to check out Cat Williams. So call me up right now, 345 92 FM. Thank you so much for listening, tweeting, and all of the above. I love you guys for that. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Bye bye. TT complete. Download complete.